Right, here we go. Back again. Back again. All right. And today, uh, like I said yesterday, uh, I wanted to cover um, the job losses that has happened in the UK and right across the world. And uh, this will be part of a series of videos um, about lockdown effects and uh, the the real problems that the lockdown has created, like job losses and unemployment. And um, the job losses, it's uh, absolutely staggering at the moment and it's just getting worse. And uh, what I'm about to cover is just a drop in the ocean, really. And uh, this is from four weeks ago. Boss of Britain's biggest recruiter warns of tsunami of job losses when furlong ends. And that is, of course, because the government at the moment are basically paying everyone's wages. But uh, when that disappears and there's no job to go back to, what's going to happen then? And uh, this is also one month ago. Dorset Technology enters administration with dozens of job losses. And this is, of course, in uh, Scotland from Scottish Business News. And the job losses here is uh, staggering as well. Uh, three weeks ago, Debenhams to cut hundreds of head office jobs amid reopening plans, right? Derbyshire Live three weeks ago, more than 50 job losses at Chesterfield Hotel and Spa. And they won't be alone because the hotel and hospitality industry, it's took a massive hit uh, at the moment. Uh, even today, it continues and that's from three weeks ago. This is from The Guardian, three weeks ago as well. Boeing to slash more than 12,000 jobs with further cuts to come. Right, now I've no time for Boeing. But uh, yeah, I don't like to see anyone um, lose their job. It's uh, never good news for anyone. And uh, I've been there myself. So I know what it's like. And uh, it, can be, it can be quite hard. And this is from three weeks ago in the Courier. Fish, fishers confirm Perth Laundry plant closure and 84 job losses. Right, so we businesses like this, um, the majority of them, they will be finished. That's it. Uh, it'll be as simple as that. There'll be, there'll be no going back. And uh, we businesses like this that have went, uh, been about for hundreds of years, some of them are now having to shut up shop. And uh, there's just no future for them. And this is also three weeks ago. Energy Voice revised Farlow scheme unlikely to stem tide of oil job losses. Right, so it doesn't matter how much money they throw at it. Uh, the jobs are going. Simple as that. This is again three weeks ago. Financial Times lockdown generation faces sweeping job losses. And as you can see, um, they're using the term lockdown generation, right? Remember that one. This is from two weeks ago, BBC News. Job losses as US medical research firm closes lab. Right, so uh, these sort of labs that research into things like cancer, well, they're finished. And for most of them, uh, that'll be it. That'll be the end. This is from two weeks ago. Politicshome.com Boris Johnson admits huge huge job losses inevitable from coronavirus. What a surprise. But it's not the virus, it's the lockdown, of course. Uh, this is in Scotland two weeks ago. Rolls-Royce job losses may not be the last. Damn straight. This is again two weeks ago. Lincolnshire Live. Lindam Group confirm job losses due to coronavirus pandemic. Uh, no, due to the lockdown. That's why, right? And uh, this is The Guardian two weeks ago. Again, Airbus looks to cut UK jobs as orders dry up. Yep, because the chain got broken a long time ago. And uh, it's a domino effect now. 
Uh, this is Sky News again two weeks ago. EasyJet warns of more job losses as Ryanair labels travel finished. Because that's what it is. Uh, this is two weeks ago again. Express and Star UK warned to brace for many job losses as deaths pass 50,000. What a surprise. Uh, two weeks ago again, Adelaide Foods worker says job losses devastating. BBC News, damn straight. This again is two weeks ago and uh, it's in the Northern Scot, my local paper, and it's about my local area, Murray, most exposed area in Scotland to COVID-19 job losses. Right, so yeah, unemployment was bad enough here, but thanks to the lockdown, it's fucking ten times worse. Happy days. And this is from York Press. York job losses at high-speed internet provider. Right, and this is Talk Talk. And uh, yeah, they haven't avoided uh, the job losses as well. So there you go. And this is again two weeks ago. Uh, Financial Times. Bentley to cut quarter of workforce as UK car sector job losses hit 5,000. Yep. And this is Denver Live. Job losses at Exeter, Exeter Cathedral after catastrophic 800,000 deficit. Yep. So, uh, as you can see, tourism and things like uh, historical sites, uh, they're badly affected at the moment. And like I did say, uh, it will be devastating for people that are losing their jobs and uh, their families. It will be uh, horrendous for them. This is uh, one week ago, York Press again. University acts to shore up finances, including voluntary job losses. Yep, universities as well. Uh, This is again one week ago, BBC News. Tom Hunter, social distancing rules could mean mass job losses. Yep, at least he's uh, telling a bit of truth there. Uh, He is, of course, a multi-millionaire. This is from Wales Online. Cardiff University warns of possible job cuts as it faces £168 million fall in income. Right, so as you can imagine, if they don't make some cuts, then it's uh, they'll have to shut up shop forever. That'll be it, finished. Uh, this is from one week ago, Financial Times. Heathrow to cut jobs as UK quarantine measures compound. Yep. And uh, yeah, the air industry, that's just about done, really. Uh, One week ago, Chronicle Live, nearly 250 job losses at Nissan as slump in demand hits Sunderland plant. So no one's buying cars now. Well, what's the point? You can't fucking travel. Uh, This is five days ago, Insider Media, Travis Perkins to make 250,000 job cuts and close Branches. Surprise, surprise. And uh, Travis and Perkins, they are a merchant, builder's merchant, of course. Uh, This is again from five days ago. And this is in terms of the US, and it's from Bloomberg Law. One third of US job losses are at risk of becoming permanent. Yep, for sure, that is what's going to happen. And uh, we'll touch on the US again in a minute. This is from four days ago. Yahoo Finance experts call for action to migrate massive pandemic job losses. Yep, that's a real pandemic. Uh, Four days ago, Energy Voice. Heartbreak as new figures suggest North Sea job cuts rising faster than, you guessed it, previously thought. What a surprise. This is from three days ago in the Express. Economists warn of more job losses as 600,000 roles go during coronavirus pandemic. So now we're getting a figure, at least. And uh, three days ago again, the business desk, nearly 30 job losses as coach supplier collapses. And uh, this is happening for a lot of bus companies at the moment. They're finished, that's it, it's done. 
Uh, three days ago, Express and Star, HSBC restarts plans to ox 35,000 jobs worldwide. And uh, I have seen reports, actually, uh, from quite a good source that HSBC is on its way out. So if you're with, if you bank with them, then you should maybe think about moving on. I also seen this uh, from three days ago in Bloomberg, our buddies, and it says Europe's wage subsidies may not prevent nine million job losses. Right, and this is across Europe. They're putting a figure on it now. And uh, I reckon in the UK, it'll be into the millions as well. And it says, the UK faces a ticking time bomb as the government schemes that have propped up businesses through the pandemic are slowly rolled back, potentially ripping the carpet from underneath some vulnerable firms and causing thousands to lose their jobs. Experts have warned. And yeah, I think them experts might actually be right. So for once, uh, they might be on the money. And it then says, Charities and the opposition called on the government to help those who are bound to lose their jobs as a wave of bankruptcies hits the country. It followed the news that more than 600,000 UK workers lost their jobs during lockdown, with worse likely to come. Damn straight. And this is from three days ago. Uh, Medium-sized Midlands companies plan permanent job losses. Right, so uh, the people that were laid off and furloughed, uh, they've not got a job to go back to. It's gone. Like I said, this is happening everywhere. Uh, two days ago, Kaylee News Tsunami of job losses coming to Kaylee, right, two days ago. And yeah, there's that word tsunami again. Uh, they sure do love it in the media. And this is again two days ago, Evening Telegraph. Dundee Centre offers support for families struggling with job losses. Yep. And this says, like I said, uh, when people lose their jobs, it can be absolutely devastating. Uh, for them and their family. For a lot of people, uh, their job means everything. Their whole life revolves around it. So when it's gone, that's it. Uh, they're, at, they're at their wit's end and they don't know what to do. And uh, yeah, it can be devastating stuff. And this is again from two days ago. Job losses at New Quay Airport as bosses say it will take years to recover. Yep, that is if it ever does recover. And this is two days ago again in The Guardian. The Guardian view on looming unemployment. Red alert. Right. And it says that uh, the government is not showing the urgency required now to avert a jobs calamity later in the year. Right. So, yeah, what a surprise that uh, the government, as always don't know what they're doing, and everything that they ever do is wrong, and uh, it ends up coming back to fucking bite them, what a surprise, and uh, uh, they're talking about later in the year, well it's bad enough already I'm afraid, this is from uh, the Telegraph one day ago, tsunami of job losses feared as furlough scheme end nears, yep, so yeah like I said, uh, the majority of these people, they won't have a job to go back to. Uh, once that scheme ends, the money will stop. This is from Business News Wales. Tourism facing cataclysmic job losses of up to 12,500 in North Wales. Yep, it's getting bigger. Uh, ITV News one day ago. Recovery encouraging job losses concerning, if in doubt... Print money. Surprise, surprise. Of course, this is the answer to everything for the government. They just throw money at it. But uh, it's a quick fix and it doesn't solve anything, uh, I'm afraid. And this is again from one day ago. Almost 20 job losses as Crook Hall and Gardens 
permanently closed due to coronavirus. But uh, yeah, it's due to the lockdown. And uh, I'd imagine a lot of people go to these gardens to get a break, to get away. And well, they won't be doing that uh, anymore because it's closed forever. And uh, one day ago again, Dutch news, youngest hardest hit by coronavirus job losses. And uh, as always, it's the most vulnerable that get affected the worst and the oldest and the youngest in uh, this case. And this is five hours ago, Eastern Daily Press. Redundancy fears at three great Yarmouth primary schools. So yeah, it's uh, schools as well that are being affected. So what problems will that create? Uh, 19 minutes ago, uh, Lowborough University to make job cuts. Coronavirus partly to blame. Huh. That's interesting that they've only said partly because it's not the virus like we said. It's the lockdown that's caused it. And uh, yeah, in terms of the UK, uh, as you can see, I thought I'd better show a few examples of the job losses. And yeah, it's uh, staggering and it's massive and it's every 10 minutes there's a new announcement of a job loss. And it's not just the UK, it is right across the world. And in terms of the US, uh, this is one month ago, New York Times. How bad is unemployment? Question mark. Answer, literally off the charts. Right, and that was a month ago. Again, a month ago, CNBC. Unemployment is nearing Great Depression levels. So there you go, they're comparing it now to the Great Depression. And I'm afraid uh, that's not good news whatsoever. And uh, this is from The Guardian three weeks ago. US job losses pass 40 million as coronavirus crisis sees claims rise to 2.1 million in a week. Right, and this is two days ago in The Guardian. US unemployment claims rise by 1.5 million as pandemic pain continues. And uh, yeah, that in, in the US, it is staggering. The job losses, uh, it's crazy. Uh, it's, it's like I said, it's right across the world. But yeah, would you believe it? Uh, for the billionaires, it only gets better. And as you can see here, Business Insider, billionaires gain $637 billion while millions are unemployed one week ago. So it'll be even more now because uh, the rich are only getting richer and the poor are only getting poorer. That's the way it is and it's getting worse. And uh, that's just about it for part one of the job losses and unemployment. But I just wanted to quickly cover this. This is my local town, um, Elgin, and this is Elgin High Street here, and it's about this shop, uh, Company Clark's, and it's a shoe shop. And yeah, well, the high street before the pandemic, right, was uh, on its knees, but uh, the pandemic has been the final nail, and uh, I think it's only a matter of time before this whole high street in Elgin becomes a fucking museum. Because that's the way it's heading. It's going to be a place of the past. Uh, everything's closing. The pubs, the small shops, the small businesses, you name it. Uh, everything's out the window. And uh, it doesn't seem to be getting any better for them. This is where we are today. Uh, this is 2020. This is what it's like. Uh, everything's moving online. Everything's becoming virtual. That is the future, really. Uh, whether or not that'll... We can stop that, uh, I doubt it very much, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, we can try our best, I suppose. And uh, yeah, like I said, the job losses, it is, it's, it's staggering. And uh, it kind of breaks my heart, to be honest, because I've been there myself, so I know what it's like. But uh, that's it for job loss, part one of the lockdown effects. And yeah, I'll be back tomorrow with a uh, meme of the week and last week's winner. Happy days. And that... It's about it. Bye-bye.